I love ink blending in on my cards. Let's compare the Rin Ranger ink blending tool with the mini ink blending tool. Both of them really do the same thing. They're both intended for ink blending. I like them for using on the edge of cardstock. You want to make sure to kind of angle them a little bit and use a light hand. You can always add more ink to it, but you can't take it away. The mini ink blending tool, if you happen to get a mark in the middle of your cardstock, it's easier to ink blend it out than it is for the original rectangle shaped one. It's a lot harder to try to blend out that rectangle shape. I don't really like either one of these for ink blending through a stencil. The foam makes it hard to get a nice detailed image there, as well as the fact that stencils can be really hard on the foam. So you have to be really light handed so that you're not damaging your foam. Both of these have Velcro on the end. That foam is held on by Velcro. So you can easily take them off and swap them out for a different color and you can have different colored foams for different families. My favorite use for the mini tool is I have a dedicated foam for microglaze and I use that and microglaze is used to seal different things in. So that tool fits perfectly in that little pot. So I keep that tool with my microglaze. Both of these would also be great for ink blending on top of embossed cardstocks. And that's generally what I keep them for embossed cardstocks or the edge of cardstock.